This is Top Accolade African News Update. I am Soibifa Jackridge. Dozens of journalists in South Africa held a vigil late on Sunday for their counterparts that have been killed in Gaza during the ongoing war with Israel. At least 83 journalists and media workers have been killed since the fighting broke out last October. The Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, said on Sunday. CPJ has said the Israel-Gaza war is the deadliest period for journalists since CPJ began gathering data in 1992. We are also paying homage to our colleagues in Sudan and the Democratic Democratic Republic of Congo and anyone really who is being affected. However, as we know, journalists who are being killed in Gaza, it is unprecedented. Deshni Sobrameni, the vigil's organizer, told state broadcaster SABC, South Africa has been out of the fiercest critics of Israel in the ongoing Gaza war. Authorities in South Sudan Central's Equatoria states have banned the sale of a popular beer after several people died after consuming the local gin. The royal gin, popularly known as Makwai gin, is said to be addictive, mostly to young people. Its consumption reportedly increased during Christmas and New Year celebrations, leading to deaths of an unspecified number of people. I have banned this red beer, royal gin called Makwai. Nobody should sell nor drink it because it is killing many young people. Governor of Central Equatorial State Emmanuel Adil Anthony said on Sunday, Many young people, when they get drunk, they hit their mothers with machete. He added, The Anglican Church in the capital, Juba, has urged the governor to make sure the ban is enforced. The gene was nicknamed after Information Minister Michael McQuay in 2019, who is said to be the most talkative minister in South Sudan. Last year, the minister called for the ban of the gene and demanded that the factory that produces it be closed down. Nigerian authorities have declared an ex-beauty queen wanted over her alleged involvement in drug trafficking. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, said Adenryoye, Queen Christmas, also known as Queen Oluwadamilola Adenryoye, escaped when officers raided her home in Lagos last week. In a statement, the agency said that the raid followed credible intelligence that the ex-beauty queen was involved in illicit substances recovered from her home during the search witnessed by the estate officials include 606 grams of Canadian loud, a synthetic strain of cannabis, an electronic weighing scale, large quantities of drug packing plastics. The statement added, the suspect was Miss Commonwealth Nigeria Culture 2015-2016 and founder of Queen Christmas Foundation. She's yet to comment on the allegations. Another suspect, who was returning from Brazil last week, was also arrested at the Motola Mohammed International Airport for ingesting 60 big grabs of cocaine, the agency said. Several African leaders are in Italy's capital, Rome, for the Italy Africa Summit, which is aimed at boosting relations between Africa and the European nation. During the two day summit, Italy is expected to launch a new approach for cooperating with African countries, which is not predatory, not paternalistic, but not charitable either, Italian Prime Minister Gioga Meloni said. The targeted areas for collaboration include energy, economic, and infrastructure development culture, food, security, education, and vocational training. The summit, which started on Sunday, is also aimed at boosting investment in African countries as a strategy to curb irregular migration from the continent. Several other countries have organized similar summits to strengthen ties with African countries, including Germany, Russia, and China. That is the size of Top Accolade African News Updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Monday!